Dr. Travis Gratton from University Veterinary Care Center is joining us by Skype for today's pet advice. Nice to see you, Dr. Gratton, from afar. Nice to see you. Welcome to my dining room. Well, thank you. We're talking about heartworm today, and it's something that commonly affects dogs. So what is heartworm, and how serious is it? It, it is a very serious disease because of the where the parasite uh, infects them. It is a worm-type parasite that lives in the large vessels that come out of the right side of the heart and then branch through the lung fields um, in order to oxygenate the blood. Obviously, having uh, a, a large uh, worm's burden living there is not very healthy for you. Oh, no. And, and how can we prevent it? Well, the good news is it is relatively easy to prevent. Uh, there's a couple of options, um, but first we always start with a heartworm test, which is a simple uh, blood test. We take a, a usually a drop or two. Most practices run them in-house. Uh, take 10 minutes or so to get the results back, and once we know that the, the dog is free of heartworms at that point, we can start the preventatives. Uh, the monthly ones are by far the most common option. They, uh, it's a flavored chewable tablet you give the, the dog once a month. It all, most of them prevent some other parasites as well. So there's other benefits in addition to just the heartworms. There's also an injectable option that uh, with a single injection lasts for six months. So for those of us who aren't good at keeping up on things on a regular basis, it's a very nice option to have. Okay, what are some of the signs that we can be looking for in case our pet may have heartworm and, and can it be treated? Yes, yeah, sim symptoms of it tend to uh, be based on a number of worms that the patient has accumulated over time, the individual patient's reaction to the parasite itself uh, because of the location of those parasites in those big arteries going to the lungs. It's usually the, the cardiorespiratory system, so we get general malaise and just not doing well. Cough is kind of the classic one once you get to a certain point or a certain amount of reaction. Um, you can have sudden collapse and certainly some pets can pass away. Uh, it is treatable. Very involved though, because when we start killing off these worms, uh, going, you know, sailing off down bloodstream into the lung fields, it can create some serious problems. So it is very involved, does get very expensive. So, so the key is really to prevent it from happening. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, it would be the preference. It's relatively cheap, it's easy, and it's much, much safer for the, the pet. Now, should we be concerned about our cats and other pets? Cats can get it and they can also take preventative. Uh, they're not the natural host, so we don't see it quite as often in, in cats, but it can also be much more devastating because it's not, um, we have to manage the disease in, in cats once they become symptomatic rather than treat them because the medications are too toxic for cats. Okay, and real quickly here, how common is it here in our neck of the woods? Uh, we see multiple cases a year. Our record was probably 25. I think last year we had about a half a dozen. And you know, with the spring rains and the warm weather, mosquitoes are going to be out and spreading the disease more. If we have another wet year like last year, we will see an, you know, an increase. Um, it almost always happens that way. Okay, well, prevention is the key. Dr. Gratton, thank you for being here with us today. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.